yesterday's video, I went a little more in depth, to, like a step by step, how to make a salamander type deal. I thought that was a good idea. So, I'm gonna do that with the cicada today. Tomorrow, for the last video, I think I'm gonna do like sort of a recap, show you all the stuff I made over the last five days, what I've sort of gained from all this. All right, so got the source photos up, checking those out. Mostly I use shots I've taken in our backyard just to get some details of them. First up, take a little chunk of clay and we gotta shape this, give it some form, make it look a little bit more like a cicada body. Here we go. Got our little cicada nug shaped out. I'll make little indentions like that. I like to call it like the armor of the cicada, you know? Those little sections of it. See them right there. Especially that one. Mark out where everything goes on it. And then from there I push the depth a little bit. Let's put some armor on this cicada. All right, we got them roughly sketched. We'll go back in, touch that up with a brush, and some little mini sculpting tools. But now we're gonna move on to throw a little slab for the wings. We're making the slab for the wings. This has become easily my favorite part of making these cicadas. I just make my slabs by hand. If you're out there and you're doing ceramics, and I highly encourage just learning how to do it by hand. Makes it so much easier and honestly it's so much more accessible. Like I don't have to have a big roller. All I got is this little tool right here. And then you roll it out and then you just get it moving. And I mean once you once you do it for a while, you can make these pretty even. You just let gravity and momentum do it. This just works so well. Like if I had to roll this thin of a slab, it would be so difficult. It'd be wanting to stick to everything. All right, so we got our slab thrown. I'll transport it to something a little bit more movable. Give it a few taps so it takes that form. So boom, we got our little slab. Obviously a little imperfection right there. We're not gonna use that. It'll be fine for what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna sketch some cicada wings on this, cut them out, attach them to the cicada, put some eyes on the cicada, clean it up a little bit, and then we're done. the cicada got that wrapped up about to head off to work and then I'll come back do a little salamander sculpt for y'all that'll be the end of day four all right y'all I'm back we're gonna get to sculpting the salamander so let's get it the salamander up 
We got four of each, four cicadas, four salamanders. Woo! All right, y'all. That's a wrap on day four. I'll see y'all tomorrow for the last day. Uh -huh.